have studied tenses in detail and you know that tense is about time. There are three main types of tenses, the past tense, the present tense and the future tense. A verb that refers to an action or state in the future is in the future tense. You have learned in detail about the different types of future tense. Let us revise them quickly today. You know that future tenses are of four kinds. The simple future tense, the future continuous tense, the future perfect tense and the future perfect continuous tense. The boys will play after breakfast. This sentence is in the simple future tense because it is telling us an action that will happen in the future. The verb in the simple future tense is formed by adding will to the base verb. Remember, we can also use shall if the subject is I or we. The boys will be playing when you come back. This sentence is in the future continuous tense. As you can see that when this lady will come back, then the boys will be playing in the future. So the future continuous tense is showing us an action that will be in progress at a particular time in the future. And what shows the particular time? When you come back is giving us that particular time in the future. In the future continuous tense, the verb form is made by using will with be and the ing form of the base verb. The boys will have played by the time their teacher arrives. You can see here that in the future, the boys will have finished their game and then the teacher will arrive. So the future perfect tense is telling us that an action will be completed in the future before another action in the future. The verb in the future perfect tense is made by using will with have and the past participle form of the base verb. The boys will have been playing for a long time by the time it gets dark. You can see here that the boys are having a long game of chess and then it gets dark. All the while they will be playing the game of chess till it gets dark. So the future perfect continuous tense tells us that an action which has started either in the past or in the present or will start in the future will continue for a period of time in the future and will be in progress at a particular point of time in future. The verb will have been playing is formed by using will with have been and the ing form of the base verb. So there are four kinds of future tense. The simple future tense, the future continuous tense, the future perfect tense and the future perfect continuous tense. In the simple future tense, the verb will play is formed by adding will to the base verb. In the future continuous tense, the verb will be playing is formed by adding will be to the ing form of the base verb. In the future perfect tense, the verb will have played is formed by using will with have and the past participle form of the base verb. In the future perfect continuous tense, the verb will have been playing is formed by adding will with have been and the ing form of the base verb. You will see 
that in the case of future continuous and future perfect continuous, the ing form of the verb is actually telling us that an action will be in progress in the future. In the future perfect continuous tense, the future perfect continuous tense is made of the future perfect tense and of the future continuous tense. In the future perfect continuous tense, will is showing us that an action will happen in the future and have been is telling us that it is perfect. Remember that we can use shall with subjects I and we. Let us now revise the differences between the future tenses. In the simple future and the future perfect tense, what is the difference? Let us see. In the simple future, our sentence is the boys will play after breakfast and in the future perfect, our sentence is the boys will have played by the time the teacher arrives. So the verb will play in the simple future is telling us that an action will take place in the future. Whereas our verb in the future perfect will have played is telling us that an action will have been completed in the future before another action in the future. What is the other action in the future? When the teacher will arrive, they will have played. What is the difference between the future continuous tense and the future perfect continuous tense? In the future continuous tense, our sentence is, the boys will be playing when you come back. In the future perfect continuous tense, our sentence is, the boys will have been playing for a long time when it gets dark. So, will be playing is in the future continuous tense and it is showing us that an action will be in progress at a particular time in the future. And what is the particular time in the future? When you come back. Whereas our verb will have been playing is in the future perfect continuous tense and it is showing us that an action will continue for a period of time and will be in progress at a specific time in the future. So, what is the specific time in the future? When it gets dark. And what shows that it will continue for a period of time? For a long time is telling us that. What is the difference between the future perfect tense and the future perfect continuous tense? It is really quite simple. Let us read the sentences to understand. In the future perfect, our sentence will be, the boys will have played by the time the teacher arrives. In the future perfect continuous tense, our sentence is, the boys will have been playing for a long time when it gets dark. In the future perfect tense, the verb will have played is showing us that an action will have been completed. You can see here, they have finished their game of chess in the future before another action in the future. What is the other action in the future? By the time the teacher arrives is telling us an action in the future or by a specific time in the future. Whereas our verb will have been playing which is in the future perfect continuous tense is showing us that an action will continue for a period of time. What is the period of time here? For a long time and will be in progress at a specific time in the future. What is the specific time in the future? When it gets dark. You can see that they will be still playing when it gets dark in the future. So, will have been playing is showing us that it will be in progress at a specific time in the future. Now, I hope that the different types of future tenses are 
absolutely clear to you. So let us do some exercises. Identify the tense of the following sentence. Tribal dancers will be performing in the Republic Day Parade. Let us identify the verb first. Will be performing is our verb here. So will be performing has been formed by using will with be and the ing form of the base verb perform. So this sentence is in the future continuous tense. Identify the tense of the following sentence. The speech will have finished by the time I reach the gala. Let us identify the verb first. The verb in the sentence is will have finished. And how have we formed this verb? We have used will with have and the past participle form of the base verb finish. So this sentence is in the future perfect tense. Fill in the blanks with the correct forms of the given verbs. In July next year, I dash teach is given to us in bracket for five years. I dash take is given to us in brackets. Summer workshops, these holidays. I dash train is given to us in brackets. The students in practical applications when the workshop ends. Let us take each sentence and go forward. In July next year, I dash for five years. So what will be the form of the verb teach in this sentence? So this sentence is showing us an action that will have happened for a particular duration of time in the future. What is that duration of time? Five years. So it will be I will have been teaching for five years. We could also write, I will have taught in this case and this answer will also be correct. I dash summer workshops these holidays. It is showing us an action in the future. So we will write I will be taking summer workshops these holidays. I dash the students in practical applications when the workshop ends. This is telling us a future action that will be complete before another action in the future. So what will be our verb form here? It will be I will have trained the students in practical applications when the workshop ends. So our paragraph will read as, in July next year, I will have been teaching for five years. I will be taking summer workshops these holidays. I will have trained the students in practical applications when the workshop ends. So the simple future tense tells us about an action or state or instructions that will happen in the future. The future continuous tense shows an action 
that will be in progress in the future. The future perfect tense shows that an action in future will be completed before another action in the future or before a particular time in the future. The future perfect continuous tense tells us that an action will continue for a period and be in progress at a specific time in the future or when another action occurs in the future. So the four kinds of future tenses must be absolutely clear to you by now and I hope you use them in your everyday writing and your speech. If you are not confident about these, just practice them every day and you will master them in no time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.